And if you look at Jury Box and Black's Law Dictionary, it says it's an enclosed area that cannot see witnesses or hear testimony. So it doesn't matter what the jury says. But you can't sue a jury that isn't there because they're not, there's no continuance of evidence with what's in the box. So the judge says, I'm not going to make a decision here, I'm going to let the jury do that. So he's up and out from a quantum lawsuit that comes into his court saying you're going to have a jury. You don't want a jury. The jury can't read and write. they got a second grade reading level. Who wants to be judged by second graders, right? See, the only thing I have to do to disappear from you guys is just take this and stand on it. You can't see me or hear me anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm on a different plane than you are. Mm -hmm. It's called soapboxing. It's a stage. Where is the judge set? He's on the highest stage in the room. So it's, you're doing theatrics right in front of you, and if you don't pay attention, they're going to clean your fillings out of your teeth. <laughs> And so it's, it's, it's real simple to be a dead person. Now this here is called an acronym. They abbreviate your name, D.W. Miller. Or they go ahead and use a, a just, you know, initial lists. Like when you come into all your hotels that you're staying at right now. Initial here in six parts, or you're renting a car, initial all here. Those initials don't mean anything. And they're all, and you also, when you put them in, you always scribble. So it's scribbled. Because even when you go to sign your name at all those electronic signing things, that pen goes all over the place. And if that's, and then it always says approved. Why can you approve something that looks like, like, like chicken scratch, you know? And if you write your name like this, even if it's legible, it's called cursive writing. Do you know that we had, Russell and I filed documents with the Board of Education, and the cursive writing is no longer taught in any schools, colleges, or universities in the United States. You have, to block, you have to print or use a computer. And when you go to school now, even from third grade, second grade, all the kids in school have computer, their own computers now in schools. And they're sitting there, and the kids are, I always get my, my daughter to uh, teach me how to use my cell phone, you know. <laughs> I might be a smart guy, but the little kids are the ones that can really handle it. Yeah, they can. They really can. They really can. They really can. They know how to play the games and get through all that stuff. So the curse of writing means you're dead. It's a dead writing because you're doing curse to curse people. So don't, don't get trapped into the, the name scenario. And that's the very first thing that anybody's going to want to know who you are, what you're doing. Is even your name tags are, are in a box, whether you know it or not. <laughs> because it's your subjective interpretation of who you are and that you put your name in that box. Well, you know, local rules don't mean anything. It's a foreign vessel and dry dock, and you're all dead anyways when you walk into the courthouse. Now, the only way you beat that is a unique thing. You're walking into this courthouse, this foreign vessel and dry dock, and if you don't have a passport, then get a passport. Because this little puppy here gives you authorization to leave the United States of America and walk into a foreign vessel and dry dock. And when I go into court, and I walk in all these foreign countries, just like I came back from Germany, I sign the stamp. Now, when I sign my name across that stamp, and I cancel it, that makes me a customs and, and immigration agent. Because I have my federal oath, and I sign the postage stamp, that makes me a banker because that's money. And it says I'm a grammar flag on the last page. The last page is reserved for special information, which I produce. But once my oath is on file in there, I've got my passport, and I'm a federal judge of that courthouse. Mm -hmm. and the judge will say, you can't, you can't represent them. You're a federal judge here. I says, well, yeah, I can't do that. But I also can witness... I can write a cold round of complaint on your behavior in this courtroom. And a lot of judges won't even come in the courtroom if I'm in the courtroom. Or they're, they're, they got a guy going to prison for 10 years with a $10,000 fine, and I'm sitting there and he gets $20 court costs and sent home because he can't, there are no laws, rules, regulations imposed in the United States. You have to capitulate to agree to whatever he wants to put on you. And how can you agree, A means no, and agree means contract, how can you agree to somebody that's in a box and say, no, I don't? When he asks you to understand, UN means no, DER is contract, and stand is standing. You have no contract standing. That's why he keeps asking, do you understand? Do you understand? And my client says, 
I'm here to partis to perform the correct parse sin test grammar for the voice of perjury. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Judge goes, I can't hear what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And when the judge says that, she repeats it. Or he repeats it. The judge says, Do you understand what I said to you? And she repeats the same thing again. I'm here to participate with the correct parse syntax grammar. And this, this battering goes back and forth every 30 seconds for 35 minutes. Finally, the judge says, Get out of my court. Mm. No charges. Can't understand what you're saying. Can't understand what you're saying. There's no joinder. There's no contract. Mm -hmm. This this it illusion up here, if they can't get you to make a contract with them acknowledging that he's in charge of you, they can't put you in jail, can't do anything to you. So if we don't hear the judge, why are we responding? Talking. Like You are. Re means no, spawn means to talk. It means no talk contract. That's what a respond means. So if you're babbling to him an adverb verb, you haven't said anything to him. I see. And he's up there syntaxing your words as fast as you're saying, as fast as you're acting, he's, he's syntaxing you just like I do. And he's used to all the prefixes mean no, contract. All the suffixes mean no, you're not, you're not in no time. And the last either, see when you end a word with a vowel and a consonant, there's always going to be, those two letters mean contract in every word. When you start a word with an with a, a, E, I, O, and U as a single syllable, that means no. doesn't matter what the word says. It's a no contract word. Because the only reason you have a word that explains what something is, is because you want to have a contract with that individual. You want to be able to communicate with that individual. Because you're talking, he's listening, you offered, he accepted. Yeah, it's fishing bill, right? Catching out there, and you catch a fish, use a little bit of bait, some information. Would you mind if I stepped in? And show, go ahead. Show Knock a little, little bit different technique. Sure. So, like when you go into these foreign vessels in dry dock, some of the things that I've done work quite nicely. Instead of making a presumption that you have a summons to go there, what I'll do is I'll go up to the, the door of the building and start knocking. Make their security come to you. When their security comes to you, right away you're into your flag etiquette. So, oh man, you got a yellow French flag. You're in violation of Title 36, Section 176, Subsection G. Hey, here's my, you know, and you got your postmaster badge, which is wherever. You start explaining your artic the guidelines of how you want to be treated and conduct them, and you tip staff them at that point because they work for you. So now you've got the, when you walk into that foreign actor's room, you got and you got somebody who's in joiner with you giving you, ask, giving you, do I have an appointment here today? Am I supposed to be here? I've got fraudulent grammar in front of me, and I want to make sure that I correspond so I don't get in trouble. Make sure that you guys know what's going on here under, this, under these foreign guidelines, under a foreign vessel and dry dock. I have my sea pass, I have my ship's papers, and I have the criteria for fee for freight to transship myself in here, move myself from one vessel to another. I'm out here in, on, the, on the citizen's land, on my land, and you want me to come into this foreign vessel, you got a ball on your flag standard, which means you're recruiting contract here. Or you have it on your paperwork, you're holding your paperwork. Some of the things that I've experimented around with is I'll be in a cell, and I'll put my paperwork down next to me, and the, and the military will come in and they'll say, I can see you, I can see you. And then I'll grab my paperwork real quick and they'll hit the alarm button. He's escaped, he's escaped, you can't see him. Right, so the games, they know the games. These people are like very well educated. I've done a really good job educating these people. So it's just been a different, but anyways, these are different techniques that you can use as a postmaster badge to get into these venues to where you have more of a, say, you're more of a neutral position to deal with some of these criteria that you guys are going to have to deal with, if you're even going into their foreign vessels, of course. So, you know, knock on the door, make them come to you, tip staff them, hit them with your flag etiquette, feed for freight. Hey, is the court closed here today? Yeah, because okay, so, if I can't file my paperwork, it must be closed. Well, you guys closed, closed for business here today, because I'm here to participate in correct communication, parse, say, test, grammar. I'm here to be correct. I'm here to make sure you're, you're correct. Oh man, do you have an adjective pronoun on there? Who's your employee? Who's your boss? I'd like to talk to your boss. Give me a flag duty officer, or you know, if you're on a military base or wherever you're at. I don't know what you guys are doing, but uh, courthouse. You know, give me somebody who's in charge here because I'm in charge, right? I'm in charge of me. You're right. He's in charge of him. That's right. Big secret. You guys are all in charge of yourselves. Big if you want to give up your power and hand it over to some some idiot with a second grade reading level.